Trip 500 is sponsored by McDonald's Classics. Now with bacon for a limited time only. And by Credit One Bank, the official credit card of NASCAR. Perfect for race fans. 24 of 85 laps complete in stage two in Atlanta. Kevin Harvick, Kyle Larson holding station about six tenths of a second back. Let's go back and look at the top 10 of last week's Daytona 500, one through 10 on the left column, and where they are running now. Kyle Larson, the only one of those top 10 currently in our top five. We may revisit this a little later. Now, Joey Logano finished fourth. He was the first Ford to finish. He is in 13th. Oh, what happened to the Kevin Harvick had an issue through three and four? Opens up the door for Larson. Wow, that's big. And the lead changes hands. Pretty savvy racer, Kyle Larson. He races a lot of dirt. He does more racing than anybody, I think, over the offseason. To be able to know to block that move by uh, Kevin Harvick as he was going to come back by him on the bottom there through three, uh, one and two. Whoa, Harvick. Oh, yeah, Harvick. Loose. Real loose right there. Back of the car jumping out on him. It's not good. That's very uncomfortable. I, you know, I was just getting ready to say that I felt like Larson maybe used up his tires trying to run down Kevin Harvick, and then this happened. Here's another look. Swooping down in the middle of the floor here. And so he, he got to the yellow line, got to the, he hit that bump, got him up the racetrack. Well, I don't know. I think Larson just just nailed it. I, th I think that little bit of movement on that yellow line was causing Harvick to get out of the throttle and that, that allowed the uh, 42 to come flying by. talks about that bump into three and our cameras just don't show how big it is. Harvick actually just told his team when you guys were talking about it, man, I hit that bump in three and it washes me up the track every time. So that's what happened and opened the door for the 42. Well, and I got to say, this is again what's going to be different this year, having less horsepower in the past. I've seen Kevin Harvick go in there, hit that bump, come up the racetrack and get back to the yellow line and recover. And he really just, you're not able to recover and get back to that yellow line and maintain the momentum. Let's look a little further back, riding with Kyle Larson. See right there, he started wiggling as he went through that bump. Kevin Harvick in a four. Larson just had a big run and timed it perfectly. And, and that's what I'm saying is once you lose that momentum, it takes you so long to recover. Yeah, they say with this uh, with this tapered spacer, you just don't get you get good acceleration, but if you have to get out of the gas, it takes a little bit to pick it back up. Well, let's go back to that uh, pit road situation with Alex Bowman, Joey Logano, and Martin Truex in adjacent stalls. Now, that was the first stop where Logano could not get out because of Bowman's car legally hanging out over the edge of the pit stall. Now, this one, when you talk about close, look at that right rear, right on the line by Alex Bowman. And here's Vince. Well, and uh, Logano, the crazy thing is his car has been good, but he's lost about 20 spots on pit road because of those very problems that you guys just showed on the replay. And he is understandably frustrated. If not, I'll push him off the jack. If I'm blocked in, I will push him off the jack. And a little tighter to the wall. And I asked him. He's going to work on it. I'll tell him to go deep or I'll send him deep. Okay, cool. Here, we'll figure it out down here. Uh, Larry, is this problem just due to the running order as they came to pit road? No question, Mike. In the way they're running, this is probably going to go on all day long because Truex is pulling in his box first. And then here comes Logano. He has to swing around Truex. And then Bowman is running behind Logano. He has to swing around Logano. So, and that appears to be right now the way they're going to be running a good part of this race. So this problem is not going to go away. Nobody is really doing anything wrong. I do believe he could go a little deeper in his box, so Larry, he's, he's hanging that back in right there on the edge of that line. Kyle Larson, your leader from Kevin Harvick. A lot of three-wide running here in Atlanta after these restarts. 